benefited from sessions in the gym. And they have the same ability to build their muscles as highly trained master athletes of the same age. Researchers say the findings showed it is never too late to get fit, and even walking up the stairs or pottering around the garden can have some benefits. Let's take a look at some entertainment news now. The Canadian couple behind the Broadway hit Come From Away is teaming up with Ellen DeGeneres on an upcoming TV project. Irene Sankoff and David Hyde, who created the Newfoundland set musical that has won international acclaim, will write and executive produce a series for the CW Network. Roman Polanski is not at the Venice International Film Festival, but his new film, An Officer and a Spy, is. And after much hand-wringing over his inclusion among the films in competition for the Gold Golden Lion Award, journalists at a news conference have had to stay focused on the film itself and not the director's past. News, uh, more entertainment news can be found at news1130.com and on the News 1130 app. We'll have your money news in 60 seconds. It's 2.55. For this long weekend, Monday at 1 p.m., Federal Auction will liquidate a major collection of fine jewelry and Swiss watches to the highest bidder, one item at a time. Bids starting from up to 70% below retail on brand name watches like Rolex, Omega, and Patek Philippe. Rubies, sapphires, and GIA certified colorless and fancy color diamonds all under the gavel. Only this long weekend, Monday at 1 p.m. at the Delta Burnaby Hotel and Conference Center, 4331 Dominion Street, Burnaby. Visit federalauction.ca. The Passant Motors invites you to a hot barbecue and even hotter deals on new cars. It's the Passant Motors Summer Cookout tomorrow. Featuring thousands of cashback, car payments from $85 a month, free gas for one year, and no GST. Plus, enter to win great hourly prizes and enjoy a delicious barbecue on site. If you're looking for a car, this is the event you don't want to miss. The Summer Cookout, tomorrow at Passant Motors on Fraser Highway. News 1130 with Carl Garnash. As of Twitter was slightly lower after hours as its CEO's official account was hacked, sending racist and vulgar tweets to more than 4 million followers. Reports claim the messages on Jack Dorsey's account were taken down in about 30 minutes. Twitter is investigating. A mixed finish for Wall Street as investors prepare to part ways with August after the long weekend, entering another September. Analysts say this month is typically weak for stock market performance, with September the only month on average that is worse for equity market prices. Eyes will also remain on the U.S.-China trade feud with tariff deadlines approaching. Analysts noting that consumer sentiment was impacted by the rising trade tensions, dropping to its lowest level since 2016. Dow and S&P finished higher for a third day in a row. Dow rose 41 points, 26,403. S&P up by a point to 2,926. The Nasdaq dropped 10 points to 7,962. It's a five-day rally for the TSX, up by 57 points to 16,442. A fresh all-time high for the parent company of Tim Hortons and Popeyes, hitting $105.52. Shares of Restaurant Brands International 